I'd like to teach you about an important concept I've learned in life coach school. This concept is based on one small little word, should. You see, this one little word does nothing less than create a manual on those that we use it with. Let me explain. What if Brad says to Julie, hey Julie, you should go dancing with me this Saturday. Instantly, Julie is processing what she should or should not do. What if she doesn't want to go dancing? Or what if she doesn't want to go with Brad? Is Brad's happiness or his ability to have fun based on Julie going? And why should she go? How will Brad feel if she doesn't go? And will Julie feel like she's disappointing him if she doesn't go? You see, in this situation, when Brad used this one little word, should, he began to create a manual on Julie. And this little should statement begins to create a seemingly innocent expectation. This expectation starts to feel to Julie as if her decision might potentially drive Brad's happiness or his lack of it. You see, expectations lead to disappointment, especially when things don't happen as we'd like them to. And expectations also lead to resentment. This happens when we feel pressured into doing something we don't really want to do. Either way, using this one little word, should, is a very non-productive and ineffective way to foster any kind of healthy relationship. What if Brad changed his approach? And instead of saying, you should go dancing with me, he could say, hey, Julie, I'm going dancing this Saturday. Would you like to join me? This gives Julie 100% permission to decide what she wants to do. And it puts Brad 100% in ownership of his own feelings. Who'd have thought such a small and insignificant word could have such a profound effect on our communications? Try omitting this one little word, should, and see what a difference it can make in your life.